Well, that's a cool electric scooter. Oh wait, that's not a scooter at all. That's actually Las Vegas. Hey guys, it's Ginger on Wheels here. We're in Las Vegas for the CES event. That is the Consumer Electronics Show. And Haybike actually invited us here. Apparently they have some groundbreaking technology they want to show us. So we're going to go grab an Uber and go down to the CES event. Go say hi to our Haybike friends and go see the latest and greatest technologically wheeled gadgets. to go to the uh, Las Vegas Convention Center, but right now I'm in the, the Venetian Convention Center. This event is huge. Okay, so this is the line for the Tech Express, which takes you to the Las Vegas Convention Center, because apparently I'm not in the right spot, and there are thousands of people wanting to go to the same place as me, so stay tuned. So this is it, I guess. The official event. We have got every major electronics manufacturer that's worth their weight here. So let's go find hay bike. I can see the the hay bike people. You see that orange and black circular thingy on the ceiling? It says hay bike on it. So close, so close. No, I don't care about smart watches or smart beds. There's a lot of smart things here. Hay bike. Electric bike. Nice. Oh, they got the new models up here. This is cool. The City Run, I think, is the one up there on the left. Oh, they've got all the new bikes here. This is the one I want. Does that not look sweet? That looks pretty sweet. Let's go say hi to the hay bike people. Do they know who I am? Hi. So this is Bella, she works Hi. at Haybike, and she's going to be telling us about the new bikes that they have here at the booth. I'm really excited. Let's go check them out. So this is the Tyson. Um, it's not out quite yet. It's coming out March. Um, and specialties about it, I'd say, is that even though it's like a big hefty bike, it'll go up to 28 miles per hour. It also goes about range-wise, like, you know, if you're not pedaling at all, just on the throttle, it'll go up to 45 miles. So, you know, if you're pedaling, it'll go like 60 miles. Um, Do you know how many amp hours the battery is? I think this one is 15 amp, yeah. But like, even though it's got all that stuff, it's foldable. Um, we don't have a foldable one displayed right here, but it folds up just like this. Yeah, it's a tri-fold, so. Like, cool thing about this one when it comes out is it's gonna have 4G on it. It's gonna have like a cell chip. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Go on. Um, it's mainly for like GPS use, so you'll be able to know where your bike is at all times. So it's really good for anti-theft, like if someone were to grab that your is bike. really good for anti-theft. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll just be able to follow it wherever it is. That's so cool. Does yeah. the bike have to be on for that to work? Um, no, like it'll be connected to your, the app on your phone, so you'll know where it is. I mean, of course, if the battery just like completely dies, it's a little harder, right? But we recommend you like register the bike with like your police station and stuff like that, just like extra precautions. That's so cool. I think that's the first bike I've heard of that has that. Yeah, right? It's super unique. And then like, I mean, outside of anti-theft, it's good for like tracking your rides, that kind of stuff. So um, it trickle charges the GPS tracker off of the battery. It doesn't even have to be on. No, yeah. It's not out yet, but like so far the plan is we're going to provide one year of service and then after that you can like continue to pay for it. Oh no, one year like of like cell service. Like we'll pay oh, for a year. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's, it's a, like a monthly subscription. Yeah, I think it's like yeah, it's like still being worked out like how much it is, but that's the that's the plan. That's super cool. Normally, I feel like a lot of the like big mountain biking kind of e-bikes, you're not able to like put them in like the trunk of your car, and it's like pretty heavy for like putting on a rack as well. So this one, you fold it up, put it in the trunk, you know, go off camping somewhere, um, and then you just ride it wherever. And it's all like this is all magnesium alloy and stuff, um, so it's light but also like strong. Yeah, and but the the frame itself is all like unibody, so it's just one piece. Oh, it is. There's no welding on it battery slide out like before? Yeah, it's like right here. So if you unfold it, you can just pull it out. This one does the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Mars is um, actually like, the Mars you lift up the seat and pull it out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one, it, you unfold it and it's like right here. This is fast day suspension. Um, so we only get like top notch things. We don't want to compromise on any quality, but we also want to make e-bikes accessible to everyone. Right. So this model is actually only $1,700. What? Yeah, yeah. $1,700. We're all working towards a greener future, less carbon emissions. So if everyone buys an e-bike, that would be great for us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The one up there is 25. Yeah. How much? The one up there is 25 miles per hour. Um, it runs about 1,400. It's the Ranger. That's the City Run. That's City Run, Ranger. 
And then we've got the Mars down here, that's the Explorer, and then the Braun. And around the back we have the Sola. Yeah, so this is the Braun. It's our like big hefty bike, you know, good for mountain biking. It's got the huge wheels, like um, huge tires. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huge. Um, so super good, of course, if you're going up a mountain, you know, good for absorbing impact, that kind of thing. And then the battery for this one's also removable, but it's around the bottom right here. Oh, cool. All our batteries are removable, like regardless of model, um, because we just want it to be convenient for you to like charge it and that kind of stuff. But it's really good for mountain bike because it's got this like huge headlamp right here at the front. Oh, it's uh, got a big headlight? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's one of the main things that's wrong with most PEVs. They don't have good headlights. Yeah, yeah. So it's super big. You'll get like, if you go biking at night, wow. no problem. How many watts is that? Do you know? Or can I don't we turn know. it on? Is that allowed? I, it is allowed. I don't know how. It's pretty bright in here though, so. Oh, yeah, I guess you can't see Yeah, it it's there. too many lights in here. It works though. I know this one also goes about 28 miles per hour. No fenders though I'm noticing. Is that yeah, no, all like that? But, yeah. I mean you think the mountain bike bike would have fenders for mud and stuff. Yeah, I mean there you can totally add them, like right here. Some people like some mountain mountain bikers are particular with their like fenders. Like I know a mountain biker and he sometimes just takes them off. So, oh, I see. So it gives you like customizability. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then this bike over here is the Explorer. Yeah, it's uh, it's the bike that goes the furthest out of all our bikes. Um, just on the throttle alone, it'll go 55 miles. Wow. Yeah, and then so if you're pedaling and everything, it'll go over 70. That's pretty cool. Yeah, cool. actually our only bike that has a twist throttle, everything else is a thumb throttle. So you know if you're looking for a more of a like a almost motorcycle experience. Yeah, I didn't know this one. Yeah. Um, so we're here with Eric. I guess he was at the hay bike tent too, and he actually built the boots and he's ridden all these bikes. He I got have a chance to do it before I, I did. I got to ride all the bikes into the show. It was a, it was a lot of fun. It was I was timing myself to see how fast I could get him in here. Right. And the winner was the was the Tyson. Really? The, the Tyson, Tyson was the winner. 750 watt fast 26 miles an hour fast little sucker and you just take off like like a rocket a lot, of fun, cool. a lot of fun Bye. the the brawn was my favorite kind of coming in because it's big and it's mean and it can go off road and it looks like it can take on any challenge and then i got to know the tyson and i kind of like the tyson a little bit more you can fold it i can bring it to more places i don't know it's, it's got great technology with the 4g technology and i can track my rides and got good uh, uh, theft protection. Yeah, this has the 4G technology and the Sola has it also. But uh, I love both these bikes, but I think this is the winner. So after Eric and Bella told me all about the hay bike Tyson, I really wanted to test the thing for myself. So I came back to CES the next day and snuck the bike out of the warehouse so we could do our own first impressions ride. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for that video and we can be one of the first people to ride the hay bike Tyson.